is my life. My life, my life. Maya and Ria is my life. My life, my life. Maya and Ria is my life. What's up, MA family? I'm back with another video. <laughs> you know, and today, guys, I really just want to. Instead of me trying to think of something and think of a video and come up with something, I'm going to just start doing some regular, 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 regular stuff. Sorry, you guys. My boyfriend woke up. I don't want to be too loud. But, yeah, instead of me coming up with stuff off the top of my head, trying to make up a video of a challenge or whatever... I'm going to just tune y'all into my real life struggle, me, everyday life, my problems. Not all of my problems because I'm a very private person. I don't like people in my business. I don't like other people's opinions coming this way. My business, you don't know me. Or if you do know me, you really don't know me. So, that's not. So, yeah, guys. For the most part, this video is really going to be about my fitness journey and what I plan on doing with that. Because if anybody knows me, if you knew me throughout my life, if you knew me from, I could say from elementary to now, my body weight has always fluctuated throughout life. Like when I was younger, I was really like the chubby, chubby, not chubby, chubby, but I was chubby. And I always had like back fat. I always had a stomach and it's, I always wanted to change it. So, as soon as I left junior high school and went into high school, um, I joined cheerleading. And I was in my high school cheerleading for four years straight. And really, after that, I really wanted to continue with, um, whatchamacallit, I really wanted to really continue with dancing because dancing has always been my source of exercise. And especially when I was, like I just said, when I was cheerleading, I lost all my weight. Like, I barely had a stomach. I barely had back fat. I was, I really just needed to worry about toning myself. Like, I didn't have to worry about, oh, I had a stomach, though. I had back fat. Like, even back then, though, I really always complained about myself. Because the one thing I realized with us females, it's never enough. And I feel like even if you do got the stomach you got, even if you do got the body you want, you are always self-conscious. Oh, let me not eat too much of this because it's gonna, I'm gonna gain weight. Or if you are, or do, you, sorry, if you do have problems, you know, losing weight or gaining weight, it's always an issue in an area, and you always look at yourself like you're the problem, you're ugly, and it's, and the one thing I want to tell you, you're not ugly, you're not a problem. You just need to really just focus on your body type, focus on yourself. If you don't like something, it's an easy change. Like I said in my last video, you don't have to go under the knife to change anything. Because especially with me, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm, I'm gonna keep it real. I had a thought in my head about a BBL taking some fat out and putting it in my behind, but that was I don't know how long ago. Because I really just felt like I was, you know, lazy. I didn't want to go to the gym. I didn't want to work at home. I didn't want to do nothing that was out of my ordinary, that would take me out of my comfort zone, which is my home. So I always felt like, you know, when I get big, I'm going to just spend some money on a BBL. And it's just like, I don't need to do that. I got a waist trainer on right now, y'all. Let me show you. What waist waist trainer? And this waist trainer, let me tell y'all, this thing has me all the way snatched. I don't feel no back fat. I don't feel no nothing. And with this waist trainer, I am going to train my body the way I want it to be. And I'm saying it's all for the girls that are a little bit chubby. Even if you're a little obese or anything, you can change it. It's not that hard to put in the work and a dedication to change what you don't like. Because I'll tell y'all right now, I just finished 
buying. Sorry, guys. I keep looking back at my baby. But I just finished buying three exercise videotapes. You know, I do my research because I really just don't want to do exercise. I really just... You know, I wanna, I'm like a dancing type exercise. I like to move around. I don't just like to, you know, lift up weights. And that's not me. That's not how I lose my weight. That's not how I get my figure. You know what I'm saying? So I bought like three exercise tapes. I did my research on a girl that's, you know, Caribbean and has a Caribbean background. And so do I and one of my parents. And I really just love her style of dance. And I, I, I'm ready to shed these pounds. I'm ready to take it serious. I'm ready to put in, to put in the work that I need to put into my life. Like, me sitting here and realizing, like, a lot of the times I just sit on my behind, not do anything, be lazy. Because I'd be so caught up on, you know, what happened in the past and... You know how much I had to go through to get to this point where I'm so driven I'm just so ready to just not care about nobody and just keep it pushing that sometimes I just you know don't feel like doing anything especially with this pandemic it really didn't make anything I feel like it made things better for me in some areas and bad in some areas because I feel like it made me more lazy it made me less driven but on the other side of me, it made me more motivated to do YouTube, more motivated to, you know, I see all these girls with nice bodies and stuff. And I just look at me like, oh, you know, I, I used to have a nice little body, like, where I was satisfied. People thought I was anorexic. I used to always hear in my family, I'm anorexic, anorexic, like, you look like you don't eat. And I was eating back then. That's the funny part. My... It was just that I kept my body up. I had practice every day after school, games. I had, I was into it all, you know. And just because I'm not in high school anymore doesn't mean I need to stop my dream. Because dance has always been my background since I was three years old. So, and I have a choreography background as well. I always make up my own dances. Even when I was on my cheer team, I used to make up dances you know show my team and stuff like that even when I had my opportunity after I graduated to help teach my old high school you know cheerleading it was just an opportunity for me to broadcast you know the dances I will make up cheers I'll make up because I don't use other people's stuff I don't do that but um I was very much trained in dance all areas ballet jazz contemporary whatever you want to name i was in it like i was around it i knew about it how to the basics and everything so like but for me i just really feel like i need to get back to that i need to get back to me because a lot of times i lose myself because i always put energy into other people when other people come around me and i kind of lose sense of my own self because I'm so focused on another person and, and putting myself on a back burner. And that's why I really feel like I really don't have no energy to do anything most of the time. Excuse me, I just want to just lay back, chill, not do anything. But then it, it's days like this where I realize like sitting back on my behind is not doing anything for me. I'm not getting anything out of it. If I want to be big on YouTube, I was laying in my bed going to do that for me unless I pick up my phone and record. And even with the simplest days, if I don't know what to talk about and I just want to show y'all what I do in my daily, that's what I will be doing. It's just so I can post and do what I need to do. I will post every time I work out because let's believe after this video, I will be working out because like I said, them three videos I just bought look amazing. It look productive. It look like something I will be completely into. And I will be doing them videos every single day. I don't even care if it's the same video. I will be doing it every day because I need something to do. I need to... Sorry, guys. The phone's about to drop. But I need to do something that revolves around my world. That I'm used to. Since toddler. Literally. What I'm used to what I've been around, what I love, 
what I dedicated my life to, that is dance. My number one dream in my life is to own my own dance school. It's been that way for a long time. Even when I was younger and I used to talk about, you know, being a doctor, doctor, doctor. In the back of my head, I always wanted to be like a backup dancer for like Chris Brown or something else. And now it's just now I want a dream of mine to be a dance school. To, you know, teach other kids the love and the passion of dance. How you can express your feeling through your dancing. You don't have to do the negativity, do the, ne the negative route and be all extra like a lot of people out here. But like, just to get back on topic, y'all, but I really just want to get back to me and what I know. So you guys will see a lot of different content on here because like I said, I really want to broadcast my life. I really don't want to keep doing what other people are doing because I feel like I'm following and I'm not a follower. I'm, a, I'm my own person. So yeah, I just wanted to make this video real quick, you guys, just to let you guys know that I'm on this fitness journey and whoever want to join me on this journey, you can gladly join me and I will always be posting this because at least on a daily, I will be posting my fitness video every single day or I will be doing like a week update on how I've been doing, how much weight I lost, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that. But guys, I didn't want to make this video long drawn out or anything, but I really wanted to sit down and just be me and just be don't have to put on or go do extra to do a video i want to do something that's really deep to my heart especially one more thing after i do close this off really quickly you know dealing with this pcos my polycystic syndrome i've gained a lot of weight as well dealing with that because you know of what's going on stress on top of that adds to it and everything so i really want to knock this thing down because the OBGYN that i did go to back in january told me that losing weight eating healthy being happy not worrying about anything will really bring my syndrome down to where it needs to be back to normal almost even and that's what i'm striving for right now i don't want to be around no negativity i'm focused on myself i'm not focused on nobody else i don't care what's said about me i don't care what opinion you have of me I don't care. Even if you do know me, I don't care. I know who I am and that's most important. But thank you guys for watching my video. Thank you for supporting me each and every time. Even when I do not post on a consistent basis, you guys still support me and I appreciate it so much. And May family, I love you guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Please hit that bell so you'll be notified when I do post again because it's lit. On Saturday, I will be going to also you guys please stay tuned on saturday it's a special vlog coming up pure fun water park dry park is going to be super super lit please stay tuned i love you guys please like comment and subscribe down below please click that bell so you will be notified when i post but thank you love you love you love you guys so so much and stay tuned for the next video peace